Welcome back to the show as now we continue our profile of top paraglider Jean-Baptiste Chandelier. Since my earliest childhood, I've had this dream of flight. Back then, I looked at Peter Pan and Superman. Everyone who was able to fly piqued my curiosity and I dreamt about being able to fly myself. After I'd focused on acro flight and had reached a pretty high level, I suddenly realized that my childhood dream was completely lost because I was obsessed by technique, acrobatics, precision. One day I went flying with friends. I didn't have my acro wing with me, so I borrowed a wing. I flew down the mountain at a very slow pace, slalomed between trees and played with the buildings. In that very moment, I suddenly remembered why I'd started paragliding in the first place. That was the catalyst to change my flying style. I said to myself, now that you have the skill and mastered the technique to fly like you dreamt of as a child, why not do it? So there is another flying style which is rather my personal style. I call it proximity flight because I enjoy flying onto buildings and so on. I had the idea to modify the style a little bit, but first and foremost I wanted to find a spectacular destination. I opted for Santorini. I first spotted Santorini in a video about parkour. I saw people jumping onto houses and from one house to the next. The buildings were spotless, white, and directly next to the sea on a beautiful island with breathtaking landscapes. So I figured this was a location that would be great for a proximity flight. The basic idea is to start and land at any place you want to. So I met the challenge to navigate to a specific point and position my entire film crew there. We discussed beforehand what I wanted to do and defined various camera angles. Then I repeated the maneuver until my posture was perfect. When things work out, it's awesome and it worked like a charm. I was stoked. What's really interesting when flying is the interaction with people. When starting from a hotel roof like I did on Santorini, everyone turns around and watches you and you can play with that. I recall a wedding that took place during our shoot. While the couple had their wedding photographs taken, I enjoyed myself in the background and became part of the picture. It was a truly magic moment and very funny. If you can interact with people while flying, it's unbelievable.
Ma première inspiration, ça vient de mes rêves. I mainly draw my inspiration from my childhood dreams in which I flew through our town. In addition, I watch many movies, but rarely paraglide videos. I prefer films that display dancing, mountain biking, or other sports. Then I synthesize these new impressions in my head, align my ideas, and contemplate what I can do with it. I like creating something new and original, like my new style, which I call downhill. The Col de Galibier is a popular mountain pass for cyclists. When you descend the street, you meet cyclists all day long. It's funny how they stare at you when you literally fly down the pass. Those who stopped on top feeling happy to have made it were excited and surprised to see me. The cyclists at the bottom of the pass were also curious, but those riding in the middle were so tired they didn't even turn around. They were just facing the handlebars. They saw a paraglider passing by and just went on. I was laughing a lot and had a ripping good time. The situation was quite extraordinary, and the different interaction with the people descending on the respective altitude was very funny. I was on the phone with the bus driver and told him drive faster, drive slower, and I adjusted my wing to the speed. We had very little time for this mission and therefore we didn't want to miss each other. It was great. When I landed on the bus, the driver screamed into the phone, this is so cool. He was really happy. I wanted a few seconds before I took off and flew down the road. It was a moment I'll never forget. It doesn't happen very often that you land on a moving bus. It's like James Bond. Well, without a suit and tie, of course, but that was the only difference.
pense que je suis un, un enfant avec un rêve. I'm a child with a dream. Ever since I was little, I've dreamt about flying. Many people share this childhood dream. There may be millions or even billions of people on this planet who dream about flying. That's why I want to share my experience. Paragliding made my childhood dream come true. Even though I have a wing above my head instead of wings on my back, it's almost the same. Today I can really fly and do what I want. That's pure freedom. It's mind-blowing.